couple of those goodies from Spawn there. Vitality. P250s, two of which, bit of util as well, smokes and flashes, and peppering up mid is Apex. This is the first time I haven't seen the jewelies at the half wall. He's taken them to apps. If they were to fall out, and currently they're starting to work over in that direction here, Vitality, that wouldn't be too bad for the job. Three up through the apartments, Kyojin and Apex. With that utility, we'll be throwing it from downtown. Apex in the chicken pit, Kyojin behind the barrels in middle. And those smokes, they can lob out here. One towards the moto position and one... Looking like it's going to go on the balcony. Flashes over and here's the jewel. He's activated. Oh, yeah, already drawing blood. Masuta forced to watch as the pistol unfolds. I was hunting him down and has converted on the reload. Oh, LNZ, a slip up. Only one now to defend the site, and he's been deleted. Zaiwu is activated. And the bomb is planted. Bomb has been planted. He's got a retake smoke here. Plopsky might be able to isolate the pit players. Zaiwu might be unable to contribute here. They're sitting on the kit in pit, so this is looking pretty impossible right now for NIP. Yeah, well, the first is there. Plopsky would need the second in quick fashion. Kyojin duking it out with Plopsky. And it looks like the graveyard walk from Hampus has been cancelled. It was where I think the most the action, where we really, in the early game, oh, look at that, a couple of HEs. Looks like three of which have been left over here for Hampus to continue to dunk towards middle. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? Often you have T's cut gathered, waiting for contact. Oh, he's running out early. Very early with that. Uh, Hampus. Oh. Well, well, Rez has got alternate plans. You don't need nades when you've got a D like that. What just happened? Yeah, I don't know. Blink and you will miss it. Rez has shot two heads, and it might even be another here as the Plopsky CZ connects. Vitality just falling by the wayside. It's only Zaiwu and Kyojin now. We'll have the bomb for now. Yeah, for now. Look at the vice. He's not going to let that go easy. He's taking a chunk out of Kyojin's health pool. And Lindsay's responsible for B. I think with Zywu still alive, I'm believing in this one for Vitality. Kyojin being low, yeah, a bullet, and he's down. But Zywu, if he can hit another couple of crispy shots here, we'll be able to get them in towards this B bomb site. A bunch of utility to work with. The float man of Hampus is over towards Arch, and he is starting to even backpedal further. Away. The guns swap just to give the AK to Zawu and LNZ is pushing forward. That's a nice shot from him and the second as well. Cool. The stack arch side and then Rez is swung out from short. You know, there, there's something that could be played in there. The mind games of this whole nade situation. Hampus uh, sits Zawu down. Take a break, mate. It's a really quick opener right there for NIP to be getting here. And, and because it is up against the four spiders, not a lot Vitality can do. They'd be hoping to at least wait out the early barrage of the CT utility. Oh. Well, a tag, but through the corner of the wall, not a lot of damage done whatsoever. Not even 20 points of health taken away from Plopsky there. It's going to be 17 on the nose as he tucks on in aggressively in Banana, still with LNZ close. Pedaling back and forth. Oh, from Pepper on through, they're going to run straight in. Plopsky's Mac 10. Good for two. May as well call it three. Now oh, it's just one man remaining here. Shocks. Lovely bit of room for him here. Gets to stretch his legs, get his cardio in, burn some calories. Maybe even burn through some of that CT economy if he can get a couple of kills going here. Spot it out and does it just in time. Rez just, just slipping up on the banana skin. I think he wants to hold on to this. Now, this isn't going to have huge issues right now unless they chase him and take it after time. So before I start talking about the next round, let's just see how this one concludes here because they know that he has to be over towards A, right? The best he could have done is slipped over towards library and... Oh, Hampus. I'm surprised he's so actively searching. Yeah, he thought about it for a second there, but has dipped on back. So no more damage inflicted. And some more nades left in towards spawn. So we're going to be seeing more and more of that. I suspect we're going to see it very well refined by the time we get to the major. This is our first foray into this update. Seems like a big tournament to have that happen, but it's been great to see some different levels of creativity shown by these teams. And here we go, scooping them up. Hampers back on through spawn, grabs a couple of extra nades. Zywoo takes one. 
25 points of health remaining now, and it is slow. Very, very slow here. So at least it wasn't the opener out the gates here. But Shocks, the man we need to keep our eyes on. The head armor, the M4. That M4 could do damage here. Confirmation of Hampus's position. Three man set up on A. Pulling out the nades. And I, I mean, this is just kind of like a, a glamorous rot of that utility with the addition of Shox's M4. They are a little more threatening. Well, they were past tense at this point. Still have that weapon equipped, but oh. oh. A flood of smoke. Apex just about with his tail between his legs has it escaped. And Ham first looking for style points, trying to finish it off with the dig, and he can't quite get it across the line. So now there's a, another M4. Masuta is going to surely struggle to hold on to this one. He's right there in the arch. There's so many members of Nip hunting him down, and it will be Plopsky's frag. All day. To haunt them here, because that issue with the lost bone, as you can see it immediately reflected in Shox's bind, is just going to be a tech nine. Let's have a bag of Uta with this, but what's the call going to be? Three up, second mid. One man of Zywood to deal with Banana, and normally great in this position. Lots of mollies. We'll have to extinguish to keep himself alive, so playing fireman here. Maybe that's what he wanted to be when he grew up. But again, the slow crawl. No risks being taken, no early aggression. Yeah, I mean... From one side, sure. Plopsky, on the other hand, his aggressions have been cut down. Device set up in the apps. Oh, he gets two with the one bullet. Finish it off with the name. Masuta evades. He lives on. And back to B. Device, I think, might be thinking about the same thing. He's smoked off on long, so might be locked to that, at least until he can confirm there's nothing top mid. His B players don't look too threatened right now, at least not feeling it. They'll hear some sound cues, and that's enough to drop a smoke of their road. Proud of you till they have to go. Here they come, and Apex are sitting duck. It's looking easy now, isn't Let's it? See with the pluck, and yeah, only two bodies left for the Vitality squad. Good luck, have fun. Shocks of Masuta, nadeless. Giving it everything they can. Linus, the smoke, so much power in it. Looking the wrong way. It's something back for Vitality. New box will provide some cover. Happy with the plant here. Especially where the loss bonus is right now. So something out of nothing right now for the French. There could be more. Oh, that might spread. Masuta oh. peeking out. Burnt to a crisp. Only shocks on the coffins. Tracks res, but no health for this. The clock's his best friend, and they're just going to close the gap. And he has two. Catches device and another Hampus Ninja. Surely not. They've been singing not. it every time. Surely singing not. it every time. Surely not. Three for three in Vitality. And considering how close that round was, maybe just maybe with this one here, they can start working on some rounds. Peeking on in, device. No. Sharks knew he had a bit more of a window to commit to the spray, given the missed orb shot. Good maneuver from Zywu initially, but it results in his demise. They are looking very rigid on this defense. There's not many opportunities for Vitality's individuals to just make a play and make some space. Yeah, they're not getting that space right now. Uh, at least middle was on the docket. Molly off the skybox there. That's going to burn out towards porch. So indicating that they want to head towards this A side. But NIP, they're not deterred. Still three players parked in banana. If it is the A play, they'll be quick up behind. Apex having a look in and sees nothing. But as he pushes, he's going to find everything. They step on out. Another player falls and a 5v3. Stark contrast to that start of the series. NIP just heating up with every passing round. Rez delivers. Oh. And Shox is his last victim. Yeah, three players B again. Rez and Device. That's two names you'd be happy to have locked down, eh, I think. Yeah, I can count on them. Again with. Early, deep banana smoke. It just means Vitality would have to invest heavy util if they did want that space. Speaking of util, more scooped up. Pampas on the rotate gets an extra incendiary and flash. I feel at some point it might have to change a gear here for Vitality, especially if NIP keep finding opening kills and then they're just trading out efficiently. or well, not even trading, right? Just being offered up individual fights. And it's stalled out again. 
We've just had another 45 seconds quickly blow by. NIP, happy just to sit in actually quite a defensive stance here. No info on Banana. They don't have any info on mid right now. They just had some. There was the jiggle from Happers over towards the arch side. But again, this is really interesting to see that Vitality are happy just to play so far back. Now, I know they're not operating with full rifles. They can't take the fights as fairly as they'd hope. But with all that info that NIP have had, they've actually been able to hedge their bets with the three-man B stack. You got Plopski on the boost. You got Hampers baiting with shots through the smoke, and then you still have LNZ back at the site with a molly here. 30 seconds, it will be this B finish. Everybody from Vitality ready to run on in. Yeah, that's going to be the incendiary as well, but it's ahead of it in the pool is Masuta. Eliminated now, problems. Zywu is the only one with the rifle and the only one in the feed for Vitality. It's two from him. Bomb cancelled thanks to the swing. Can't keep control of the weapon, only shocks. And it's unlikely he even gets this bomb down. They should push when they yeah, hit device. planning. Surely going to close that gap. He anticipates that and looking to take another head. Okay, get... It won't be Zywu here. And a pot shot taken as the mid-cross. I just thought that would have been a little bit freer there. Apex after the blistering. That one has definitely cooled off here and would have loved an opening. LNZ strafes out. It's looking too easy now. Well, they know where device is. Force the shot out of him with the flash. Rejigging it. Actually re-aggressing. Yeah. Yeah, pick all the way down. Shot. <laughs> this one, that's uh, some confidence for Dev. It's been silenced. Uh, curious to see if they gamble one of the sites here. Right? Happens is over towards the B-bomb site right now. He still has a smoke and a molly. Utility to lock down that B-site if they do want to return there. But Vitality, again, this time, they've come out on top of the early exchanges. But it's more of this slower pace. And as the time ticks on down, it is a mid-crossfire. This could be the blender if they run on in. A bit cavalier. Out of the boiler. Up mid they go, and they are walking into this crossfire. Okay. Plopsky and Rez looking to lock it down. And we're suited. Already took one scalp, and Oof. that will be it. Vitality and Hot Pursuit are their second. Now Hampers, he knows what's been going on with the cash money situation, so looking to save. He'll have to be dropping a gun across to Plopski in the next round. Everybody else is going to have plenty. 1,400 as the loss bonus here. What's he thinking about? I thought you'd be loving a save right now. Is he giving it a look? I don't know. It seems really risky to do so. Halfway ticked. Hampers is cheeky. He's very, very cheeky and maybe just damage. He does have that molly he can drop back of pit to try and deny these rifles. Oh, there's one. Zywoo. And that was what he was looking for, I suppose. Gets away with the AK and an extra frag for good measure. Okay, so both teams being very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The way the games have gone. But so obviously, if you joined us last night for that Ents versus G2 game, there was so much on the line there. Had a different feel to it. Saiwu, so, this is actually an operational gap. He can find an opportunity. The nade looks right on the money in between the wickets. He's trying to do it on his own. All the util and the fights being taken by Saiwu. Counter util from NIP looks good and the info gathered. Plovsky looking to stand and fight and deliver. Opener again found for the ninjas and now they can just turtle up into the site, tuck their head into their shell pick up the supply drops as well. So maybe there's a nade that was meant to be around here that's rolled away. That's one of the issues with the HEs, right? You get the mollies, the nades, they, they do get a little bit roly-poly. He has the smoke, so he can lock the door here. It's very, very shallow though. Yeah, but it's a bit suspicious. You don't know if they're playing or in that pool position on the edge of the smoke. It's... <laughs> Some juggled weapons. He gets the apex rock in the orb. <laughs> Don't get to see this one too often. Maybe he can forge a path into the ace site because the three-man setup, NIP are playing textbook Counter-Strike right now. He's had pl plenty of practice on the scout, so that might be enough. Doesn't move as quick. There won't be a zippy around those corners. Shark's just keeping them there, planted towards the B site, so the two players of LNZ and Plopsky should not be moving here as we turn our attention back towards A. Moto smoke, arch side molly, and away they go. Counter flash is good. Device deals with apps and Masuta trying to do something. Only Apex 
obscuring legend spots. Conditions. Conditions, thank you, that's the word. They need to place top three. Australis plays top two, or G2 plays top six at best. All of those still up for debate. Popsky doing the juggling act now. We've been watching more and more players doing this. And to varying success, right? Some players are just throwing out the nades and they're not finding any damage. Some are throwing them out and they're finding, finding huge chunks. So it's going to be interesting to continue to monitor this. Banana control. Oh, it's given, and I think they're trying to go mid to B here, you know? Looks like it, yeah. I mean, Device should have a real good angle for this. They're aware. So is he. Standoff right now. Ooh, and it doesn't quite hit the mark on the first, and now multiple targets towards spawn. Rez is actually going for a re-aggression through the arch. Their backs will be turned. Trying to avoid device, but they're not ready for res. And that's a great handling of the situation. No real threat. None at all. Saiwoo. Uh, the Movistar Riders are just two rounds away from securing themselves a spot in the Major. The Spaniards watching right now. I'm sure there's going to be a massive celebration. Their storyline's pretty crazy, considering they've only recently just changed roster. Yeah, and in a large way. Returning to communicating in their native tongue. It's Gangster and Plopsky is too. Look at his positions. I, I think he's been booked here. Yeah, completely. And no room for Vitality at the inn. This is just looking shaky for the French right now. Oh, straight through the smoke. It's getting worse, isn't it? And we've had so many rounds that have commenced like this, that have kicked off like this, where they lose an opening kill, or maybe they cop a bit of damage here, they're not getting the space that they're working for, they're being denied, and they might be here getting away with it. It's, they're not even, it doesn't feel like they're even having to work too hard, because you notice that Vitality aren't pushing the issue with anything crazy. How many other players other than Zywe have you seen in Banana early? Apex tried it once, Zywe's tried it a couple of times, but there's no gusto to this. Yeah, it's such a stark contrast. Almost like two different teams from that first map and the screams and the guffaws. I remember, like, NIP, there's no pressure on them. They've already got this legend status. So they might be playing a little bit freer here. And happens to push. Ah, oh, straight in. Yeah, he just goes for the blood. And it's done. I mean, what, two, two versus four. Device tucked on the site. Rez is in a power oh. position and knocks the head. Just going to be one-way traffic for the Swedes here who are looking well, unstoppable right now. Deep mid smoke. Two towards A. Three towards B. Standard stuff. I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing outside of the textbook here. Other than a couple of cheeky nade drops. That's the only difference. Okay, well, you wanted some pace. You wanted some team play. And, well, Vitality are throwing a quick one towards A here. The reactive util seems good. Oh, and another one from straight through the smoke. <laughs> LNZ again delivers them a first blood. He's got the goggles on right now. Seems to be finding them no matter where they are. Well, they've been sold out immediately. After that, Alex, after they've been denied, they have one smoke and four flashes left. And a minute, over a minute to operate with. And it's felt like <laughs> Anana's been closed. Like, yeah. closed for business. They are going to have another go. Oh, oh come on, Ampers. Be nice to them now. Yeah, they are. We're bullying them. Yeah, but this this isn't like the same kind of disres quote unquote disrespectful CT aggression as it is just very, very well timed, co choreographed, and coordinated team maneuvers. The individuals as well hitting their shots. That's a miss from Device, and he's been punished for it. But look at the aggression out of Hampus. Maybe I need to weep my words because that is cheeky. Yeah, Device was dying to just bait them in because Hampus wants them all. Big battle on Banana here. Util's been great from the Ninjas. And it looking even better again from LNZ. Damage and then some. Plopsky with the two. Nothing left for Kyojin, really. Even his teammates just been eliminated. And he takes the fight. Rez will collect. And at this point, you can see them getting to 13. It wouldn't be out of the realms of possibility by any means. Deep nades down again, always softening them up. Vitality limping out of the rounds here with either a body or damage. There you go. That's, that's the, the rolling. Roll. Yeah. And oh, that's yeah. another opener, as if NIP. <laughs> another one. Oh, my God.
absolutely battered. He's ahead of the smoke. Plopsky's on the booster. So as he puts his bottom on the line, he's down. Well, I'll give you something, Chad, but NIP, if they convert this one, it won't be that uh, dangerous <laughs> scoreline. Bar on the barrel again here. Oh, device knows there's another one to be found. I'm sure he's tempted to re-peak, but the whole squad are. Look at them, charging, lusting for... Oh, but that is massive, right? That's a massive result right there. And almost a massive result here. Final round of play, the opener again. It's just been the same and same again. Haven't been able to get anything going here, the French, just absolutely nothing at all. You'd love one round just to believe that you can actually get the five kills necessary to win a round here, but another five on three, I, I couldn't count on one hand. I don't think how many rounds have been like this for Vitality. Confirmed, there's action coming. Something from Miss Suta. Zywu as well. So what was a 5v2 now becoming just a little more realistic. Ice is pushing again here. Yeah. They do not care not at all. Gonna, they don't care at all. They're not going to be expecting this. He's just going to peek down mid here. Pulls it clear. Maybe even with the AWP. <laughs> Come on, you weren't even aiming at him. Yeah, He's just pre-firing. Style points as I was his next victim within a couple of kills of each other. But also LNZ, who is just lagging behind at 10, was the one that was finding them four to five back-to-back oh, -back openers. Towards the tail end of that first half, 13 already in the bank account, Chad. They are in hot pursuit of that pistol. If they do pick it up, you may as well stick a fork in this one. Shocks with a warning shot. I'm liking the Counter-Strike NIP are playing here. It's tempered. They know when to go for the aggression, which is that knockout blow. And they also have been doing their strats. Now, this one, we've seen it once. We're going to see it again. So they're going to waterfall out apartments here with the flashes of device. I'm intrigued to know if it catches Graveyard. Like, if he's not looking at the floor, there shouldn't be a way. It catches. And actually, Hampus has caught shocks. Kyoja just the one. Of the well ahead of the flashes. And now, surely, there's something to be said about this. Saiwu and Apex have to go for this right if you imagine imagine oh, wanting to save right. what you have right now on the pistol round and then having to go up against a 14 to 2 score line yeah you have to give it everything it's got and i re smoke on the library position <laughs> outlook gets even worse a tasty gap sure no contact on that mini pit apex thinks better of it waits for the info but look from behind zywu is in trouble two players bearing down on his location the nade damage was good but there's nothing more Nothing more to be said. Not going to go for his signature scout. Shocks likes to go for this MP9 on the four spies. So they could at least put up a fight here, but that would be the only point of resistance because next round it's going to be a buy that looks very similar to this. Exchanging weapons, Rez with the AK. There's three Mac 10s, Hampus into the Galil. And if they continue to play the type of counter strike they have been, NIP, they should win this one. Shocks gives up his position and he's going to get run down. Completely rover run. 17 for Rez now. Kyojin with a defensive smoke. The rotation of all three from B is coming, but they have to deal with Hampus. Deeply. Looking to fight. Kyojin took on the pit, the hay bale's position. Could catch him. Nice from Device, he contributes, but still, Vitality, they're kicking. A miss from Masuta does adjust. His Deke's doing it all for the French, not only. It brings it into 1v1, Hampus. They've been the tactical minds player to get the individual to keep you level-headed contribute when the chips are down bring the mood on up here we're having the coach yelling behind you with the war cries after such a good map two great maps in a row here for the swedes and just five more kills away from getting this first series done locking himself in for the grand final and then they can sit and watch ents versus Stralis coming up next pop flash in and four more to go make it three hampers just counting down to the grand final, three bodies remain from Vitality, and even LNZ could work on a fast flank here if he hears them rotate. May not be necessary, because they're just pushing for it. Look at where Hampus is. And it is.